this video I'm going to show you how to make an aesthetic model using Matisse color model resin. Uh, to make an aesthetic model you need a couple of things. Uh, first thing that you need is Matisse color model resin full kit which has six, six colors, six acrylic colors, cold curing liquid and two uh, flowable stains, flowable composite stains, black and brown to make some characterizations on the preparation uh, if there is um, some discoloration on it. What else do you need? You need mixing bowls, portioner, mixing spatula, then you need to make a silicon index of your gypsum model or your 3D printed model. First what we need to do is to receive a recipe from Matisse software. So we upload OptiShade images. What we'll do now you will need a picture from the target tooth and the preparation color. Um, so the pictures are uploaded now. The next thing is we go to aesthetic model we select Matisse color model resin then we select the preparation color and you have three color pickers here to generate the recipe so if you see that preparation is one color you can use only one color picker for example you click on the color picker and you measure cervically and you can use this recipe to replicate the preparation color if you see uh, different zones you can use three color pickers and make the, make your make your aesthetic model more precise then to fabricate the neighbor teeth you can measure the target color again so for the for the neighbor teeth or target tooth just generate one recipe because that's more than enough for your aesthetic model so we have two recipes now Preparation is color CM4 and target color is CM1, CM2 and the ratios are 2 and 3. So now I will fabricate the, the models. So I will show you how easy this actually works. Okay, we need CM4. So this is CM4. So this is for the preparation color. Preparation color. So you use a, use a mixing bowl. And it's only CM4, so I take one scoop of CM4. So pour it in the mixing bowl. And then we use the cold curing liquid. And the ratio is a one powder, three liquid. So we apply the, the liquid uh, in the silicon index and then we mix it. So we mix it. So this mixture we can pour uh, in the preparation. So we can use the, the spatula to pour this mixture in in the silicon index. So we pour it in the silicon index only in the preparation. So we can let it set now and then we can continue with the target teeth. So the color, uh, the preparation color is now set. It took me five minutes and we will fabricate now. We will pour the mixture for the neighbor teeth. So I will use the target recipe and I will make a full model from K9 to K9. So the recipe target tooth is CM1, CM2, a ratio two on three. So to make a full model, we need uh, 20 scoops of a, a big portioner and uh, this is also this recipe that you see here two and three that's for one tooth so if you want to make a full model 
we need maximum 20 scoops. So I will make this recipe um, four times. So we need CM, CM1 and CM2. Okay. So then we use our silicon index and we will count the recipe. So I will take eight times CM1 and 12 times CM2 because we need uh, 20 scoops to make a model from K9 to K9. So I use a portioner. One. Okay, so we add liquid to it. So there is a quick way to see the, the, the liquid, if the liquid is correct. So it should be higher uh, than the powder. So you can see here. And then you can mix it. So this is the perfect consistency. Okay. And then you basically pour this uh, in your model. So this is it. So basically you have a very nice precise model uh, in um, maximum 15 minutes. So now we'll let it uh, set and then we can continue with the next step which is removing the gum and replacing it with um, denture wax to replicate the gum color. So the model is uh, already uh, cured. So I will remove it now from the silicon index. Okay, so this is our beautiful model. So this is very simple. I will remove the gum. Okay, so as you can see, we remove the gum and now replace it with this denture wax. So we are basically replacing this with the wax. So then we may we'll make it a little bit warm. and then putting it back in the silicon index so that it takes the form. So this way we have a very fast, quick method to um, replicate the gum color. So we'll wait until it's set and then we'll remove it. And our model is ready. So easy, fast way to replicate an aesthetic model. And this is very important for the Matisse OptiShade workflow because you want, when you work on this model, you will, you will see the LAB colors, which are more, um, more precise. And you can expect these colors to be the same in the mouth. So this way there is no guessing anymore because this is one of the most important things in the process of color matching to be more predictable. Okay, so the next step is framework staining. And uh, I will show you how to stain the framework using a Matisse and OptiShade. Matisse works like magic.